Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. This is the exercise number 11 Autodesk Inventor 2017 and we are going to create this simple model with the help of 2D isometric view. I hope you like it. So let's start to create this one. Now this is our isometric drawing and we are going to start from top cylinder face. The top diameter is cylinder diameter is 50 millimeter and how long this is 90 millimeter long. So we will make in uh, two way let's see we will extrude this one and uh, next operation I'll see now let's click new and here you have to choose metric a standard millimeter let's say create once you click create uh, see this is the Autodesk inventor interface now here if you want to change your units simply go to tools document setting and you can simply change your units millimeter second kilogram gram whatever you like to keep and if you like to change your background simply go to application color and from here you can change your background but we will keep white or uh, presentation so that's it now let's start we have to choose any one plane if you go to 3d model simply select start 2d sketch so which plane we like to start with so we will start with x z plane now this is our sketch tools so i'll choose circle and see you will see the green means it is coincide with the center point click and drag and enter 50 millimeter press now see this is right click either choose escape key or ok it's up to you but more in most cases we will use escape key to exit from the any command now this geometry is created this is fully constrained you will see here this is fully constrained geometry finish sketch and go to extrude now this is the first body first extrude body so it will give there is no other options only options to join distance 90 millimeter but here i'll choose this symmetric so that it will moves in both side okay profile already selected if we select this home key and see this is the default if you want to change appearance or something like this you can change it from here let's say light red okay now the next thing we are going to create this 35 by 50 millimeter rectangle box up to 55 millimeter from the center of the circle okay first we will create a plane 55 millimeter below this center line of this circle the cylinder first let me choose here offset from plane and we will choose one reference plane so which one is better x y plane and here i will put minus 55 you will see it, it goes bottom okay now i'll select this plane a sketch 2 point rectangle now the width is 35 tab 50 millimeter enter okay now right click okay now we need to define some more things like uh, shift key press your uh, mouse ball and rotate see go inside i'll choose this line then again i'll select front and you will find this center point click 
okay the, it is asking one dimensions so dimension from here to center point and this is 35 millimeter because it is on the mid this is fully constrained drawing you will see at bottom now finish extrude and the same thing we will keep distance now here it will ask you what operations you like to keep i'll keep join profile already selected that's why it's extruded and uh, in one direction is going upward side 55 millimeter that's enough for us even though if you keep uh, more no problem okay now there are two operations we will create one more plane see here 20 millimeter distance so we will create one plane above this plane 20 millimeter then we will cut see the thickness 20 millimeter and throughout then there is one more cutout this length 45 millimeter 9 millimeter from here 18 millimeter and 16 millimeter here so these two operations we will going to take first we will create a plane right click okay let's create plane with the help of now this plane is selected and 20 millimeter in, is going upward side okay now let me select the second plane the sketch corner rectangle right click okay now just rotate sh hold shift key and uh, dimensions twenty millimeter. Now this is fully constrained drawing. Okay, see the rectangle is we are going to cut finish extrude and here I'll choose cut command. See it is going downward side so what we will do reverse direction see and here distance let's keep all so that it will cut up to all no need to define any German dimensions okay now see now right click on work uncheck visibility both so hide the plane now select this surface sketch rectangle now length is 45 tab 18 millimeter enter dimension now this distance shown 16 millimeter now one more distance from here to this edge and this is 9 millimeter now the drawing is fully constrained finish sketch extrude choose profile so this is the profile here it's join select cut distance keep all so no need to define how long you want to cut simply cut through all or up to all end of the body hold shift key and rotate see now here the last operation we are going to cut this depth is 10 millimeter 38 millimeter from here so that means from center it is uh, 25 minus 38 it's 13 millimeter and both sides so we will use mirror command also here i'll select this surface or face sketch let me choose your line Now either you can create a line or simply choose projected curve, projected geometry, choose trim. 
now just press left mouse and drag over the line which line you want to trim that's it finish the sketch extrude now here you have to choose so i'll select profile this one see it's going cut depth here you have to define distance 10 millimeter in this direction now if you want to mirror this one there is one command see here in pattern mirror click mirror first you have to choose feature so i'll select this directly select this one or select from here extrude in 5 mirror plane see which plane xz plane click now you will see the preview here hold shift key and rotate see so this is how we created a simple exercise in autodesk inventor this is good example for the beginners i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and inventor thanks for watching